Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This video we're going to have a quick look at the new build of Windows 10, the technical preview 9926, which is the one that was shown off at the keynote. Now it doesn't have all the new features that were demonstrated on the event last week, but it does have some of the new stuff and for a small device like this it has the new tablet features in here. So you see the new style start screen and uh, it's defaulting to the larger tablet mode but I can resize that there and that's going to show me the uh, the sort of the traditional desktop one. I apologize for the reflections on the screen it's kind of hard to show this without getting some reflection on there. So when you're using a small tablet like this you need plenty of screen real estate and uh, there you go that's in that larger mode. Now what we've got if I swipe in instead of having the settings charms we've got this new action center and the button there says tablet mode I can press that and it now changes tablet mode. Notice it shrunk the Cortana which we'll look at shortly and um, when I launch an app say a uh, Tweetium app it goes full screen like you do in Windows 8 if I switch it back to desktop mode, it, it minimizes it. Now I think this is something called continuum, and if you've got a keyboard and mouse, it can detect that. So if you had a Surface Pro 3, and as you take the keyboard away, it would then do that automatically. But here we're just doing it manually. Now some of the nice things in while we're, while we're here. So this is where we get the notifications that pop up, and they're in the list, so they don't just disappear. Now that we we get the notifications on there, you've got your display settings here. Connect. Uh, so you can easily connect to um, wireless devices. So I've just got to connect there and you can, it's straight away it's seen an audio device and um, it's seen a Roku 3. So the audio device is going to do for, for Bluetooth audio, the Roku 3 is going to be for mirror casting so we can actually send this screen up to my up to my TV. So it's a lot easier to find now, in other words, you, in the previous builds it was a bit fiddly going through all the different settings on there. So I just clicked on the um, on the Roku option and that is actually going to uh, transmit that to, that's going to mirror cast that now, so if we go back to connect you can see it's connecting and actually this is the first time I've seen this actually, so now it gives me the option of extending, duplicating or uh, second screen only. So I'm going to duplicate that. So I mentioned these um, shortcuts before. I realised they're just like Windows Phone where you you can tap and you can do things like switch on airplane mode and switch it off and you've got rotation lock and all that kind of thing. But you can also, the, the four ones on there, if you're never going to, or if you're not worried, particularly worried about going to the connect you could switch that out. I'm going to switch the display one out and uh, I can choose a different option. So I can now choose which option I want. So uh, instead of having the display one on there, if I frequently use VPN, I can put that on there and then when you're in the sort of collapse you've got the VPN one on there. So it's a nice way, little way of, of setting the shortcuts up. So let's look at the start menu. We're in the, ex the tablet mode so we get the expanded view automatically. So I've just pinned those apps like you would do in Windows 8.1. So they don't automatically get added as you install them. Um, but I could pin the ones that I want. And then you've got that sort of hybrid view there and I guess you could also pin non um, metro apps I mean, for example Enter Explorer is the desktop version we haven't got a Spartan browser on there yet so if I open an app in tablet mode it opens like that and take it out of tablet mode and it puts it back again One of the new apps that's in, included in this build is the new Maps app and uh, this has got a new look to it. So this has favourites and things like that which is picked up automatically, I haven't told it, it's picked those from Cortana that when I use on Windows Phone. 
you can have offline maps and you've got driving directions so it's really much more like the, the Windows Phone one let's give Cortana a try okay queuing up your music So there you go, so it's starting to play some music. Uh, it's using Windows Media Player as opposed to the Xbox Music app, but uh, I guess you can set the preferences on that, the default, which is the default app. So what else can you do with Cortana? What's the weather like tomorrow? The forecast for tomorrow shows cloudy skies with a high of 47 and a low of 43. There's a new uh, Windows Store app as well, um, so you notice this has changed from the old green one, and this is a beta of the new store, which um, I must admit does look a bit better. Let's go full screen on that. So I'm sticking tablet mode, which is probably a better discovery experience, I would guess, than than the old one as well. So that's. A very quick look at Windows 10, the new uh, Windows 10 build 9926 on a tablet and um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Cortana integration seems good but very buggy, There's no Spartan browser in there yet, the new media apps aren't in there, all the new office apps, the new store app is and the new maps app is and the new settings are actually pretty good and the new action center as well. You can definitely feel the influence of Windows Phone. Uh, in some of these things as well. So if you've got any specific questions, please let me know in at thedigitallifestyle.com and continue playing with it and hopefully in the next few months we'll see the new features, the new apps and this will turn into uh, the best version of Windows yet. Thanks for watching. Bye.